Hello, we're doing Mazda MX-5 Cup Rookie Series at uh, the Charlotte Roval. Um, I actually just came from another Rookie Mazda race. Um, it was the final of the week at... Uh, what you call it? <laughs> Where was it? Oh, I'm so bad with these names because I didn't like grow up with these. Um, where was it? Oh my god, forget it, forget it. I'll remember it in a minute. But the point is, um, I got wrecked in the first corner. So uh, that wasn't worth showing. <laughs> and then the race changed to the Charlotte Roval. So here we are. Um, I like this track. <laughs> I feel like I say that a lot. Um, I don't know. There aren't too many road courses I dislike. Um, yeah, and I'm afraid to even say, like, oh, I, I'm not too fond of this one because it's probably, like, the best road race out there that everyone loves, and I just don't know enough about road racing to know why it's good. So <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth shut on criticisms and instead just keep saying I like everything because, honestly, that's how I feel. I love coming here. Charlotte Roble. And, uh, woo. hopefully we can have a good race today. Number five car. Um, a couple of the guys that were setting, like, crazy fast times in the last race are also in this race. So I expect them to take the pole and run away with it. But, uh, maybe we'll survive the first corner this time and have a, a nice race of our own, huh? But, uh, not always up to me. Because in the last race, I just got punted from behind going into the first corner. And uh, it sent me straight head on into one of the inside walls. And my car was just destroyed. I needed to get a new one. And I was just in the back the whole time. And I passed a couple other guys that expired. But uh, there was nothing to watch. I was never near anyone. So it was just horribly boring. So nothing to see there. So hopefully you'll be seeing this one. Because that means it was a better race. Let's see if we can get a good starting spot to get kicked out, uh, to get knocked into the back of from. Oh, of course. <laughs> I had to lift a little bit because I was afraid I was going to get too far off course and the lap would be invalidated. So far, pretty close to my best time. Um, I said it in the last race, but that race is now gone. I think all of my uh, all-time best laps are gone, too. Because I think they were stored locally, and then they went bye-bye with my uh, storage <laughs> on my uh, old computer. So, got to set some new benchmarks for myself. I got through the bus stop there really bad, as you can see. I've been struggling, and even in practice getting through there. I can't hit it consistently. It's a very tough corner. I feel like uh, I'm not the only one that has trouble though, so at least there's that. I know it is just a tough corner in general, so. Me too, but there's still lots of people doing laps, so that's not going to mean much for now. I think they're pretty well. I'm not sure how I gained that much time. I didn't feel it like it was that good. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. <laughs> you know, I was going through that corner and I'm like, man, I'm getting more turn in than I thought. But I don't want to, like, stop turning in. Because I want to take a good angle. And then at, well, at one point I was like, I'm heading for that wall, aren't I? <laughs> and I was, and I kind of just didn't do anything about it. I was like heading for the wall and I'm like, you know, I could jerk to the left right now. But then this whole lap's going to be ruined. So my choices here are jerk to the left and ruin the lap. Or just stay in it and hope I get really close to the wall and don't hit it. And then I have a really good corner and... Uh, potentially an even better lap. 
I hit the wall. <laughs> I should have known better in a race. I wouldn't be pushing that hard, but that was kind of like a there's no right answers situation right there. I guess I could have maybe avoided it and maybe I could have had a good end of the lap and everything would have been peachy, but uh, <laughs> well, you saw what happened. And there's no taking that back, so oh well. Get a little more practice in. Maybe we can make it around that corner without dying this time. Still could use a little bit of practice apparently, because I'm still not quite in quite, uh, quite oh my god, I can't talk. Quite as consistent as I would like to be is what I'm trying to say in this English language I supposedly speak. I always can go through here much harder, but I'm always afraid I'm going to overdrive it and hit that outside wall. So we're P4 right now. That's pretty good. Got a nice little uh, gap in front and behind us. Four tenths. Would love if that happens in the race. Get a nice little spot to ourselves and not have to worry about running into people or people running into us. As I mess up the bus stop yet again. That wasn't as bad as some of my other attempts, though, at least. And I didn't hit anything. So there's that as well. Make it through here. I feel like I get this done pretty well. All I say as I mess it up. I need to just <laughs> admit that even the spots I think I'm good are always in question. And uh, keep my focus the whole darn lap instead of trying to have some confidence. <laughs> Assume everything's gonna go wrong at all times. And of course, these uh, my hot lap times aren't gonna mean anything in the race when you're racing right by uh, beside people. That's a whole other skill set that. I don't quite have as much of yet, because I'm still learning road racing and the craft of it. So that's something I'm trying to work on. That's a little harder to practice. I can sit here in a by myself all day. But finding a good way to practice a lot like driving alongside someone, that's almost you know, it's just something you have to do. Out there on your, out in there in a race, you know what I mean. And uh, you have to make your mistakes out there on the track and learn from them. And that's why I'm here in the rookie mazes. All right, so we ended up P4. That's pretty good. Everyone pretty much qualified too, so we got decent pace. Um, you know. <laughs> As I expected, the guys that are super fast have a full second on us. And here's something that's underrated for us as well. By qualifying up here and not a little farther back, we're not on that uh, on that chicane, what you call it. Because in real life, they run to the line or whatever. They grid it up, not in the middle of the chicane, which you would imagine makes sense. But uh, here, I guess iRacing doesn't have, like, they don't have the coding for it to only do that on the first lap. So the people are gridding up in the chicane, and that's super tricky. And a tough way to start for those guys. So it's a bit of an advantage to be up here, not only because, well, you qualified better, but uh, because you're not in the darn chicane. I actually recognize that car in front of us, too. That's the one I kept calling the Shrek car. It's funny. Sure, no one's on my inside. Someone dives it in there on us. I'm gonna 
give it to him because I don't want to get taken out right now. Plus, got to remember, cold tires, so you're not going to be turning as well as you think you are. And it can snap on you, too. I don't like what that guy almost experienced right there. But it looks like we're nice and sorted already. That's cool. Yeah, a nice two seconds behind us, uh, not counting the number six car. So we already got a little bit of a gap back there. That's good to see. Don't want a huge line of cars showing up. I'm going to break extra early here because, well. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I thought he was heading up higher, so I didn't quite mean to dive him in on the apron like that, but that probably made me look pretty aggressive. Ooh, got loose on the exit there. We're good, though. still tighter than I'm expecting so overdrove that a little bit but we're good there we made it <laughs> we're still up here we're in podium position got some draft that's nice don't like shifting to fit there because I'm not quite used to how that feels didn't take that too well, but kind of matched the guy in front of us at least. Yeah, entering, having this draft is nice because it makes us faster, but I'm also not quite used to entering the corner at a faster speed, so I have to adjust. It can make it a little bit tougher on me. of a car in front of us in terms of that paint scheme. I can't tell what's going on. I see a rainbow. Is there some dude on the left? I don't know what's happening. Maybe that's the point. Distracting me from my turn-in points. Let's not hit that inside wall like we did in qualifying. Ooh, did he uh, hit that wall? I think he might have hit that uh, outside wall, just a slight brush, but uh, his mirror is intact, so maybe he didn't. Got pretty close, though. So, uh, here's the thing. I got momentum on him, but I'm not trying to pass in this corner. I'm not good enough in the bus stop to do that. And we're just going to end up losing a bunch of time. So I'm going to find a different place to do it. That looks like a Hawaiian license plate. That's what, Or not license plate, but uh, yeah, maybe a license plate. No, no, that's a Hawaiian driver's license. That's what I'm trying to say. Why am I talking about it now when I'm trying to make a pass? I'm trying to keep up with the front of the field? I don't know. Maybe it's better for me to distract myself from what's making me nervous. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what that looks like. Some weird, like, Hawaiian driver's license. Okay. Ooh, almost 
pushed wide there, but we're good. Got that draft. Help us pull away from the guy behind us a little bit more even. Gosh, he was close. He threaded it. I thought for sure he was hitting that wall. It's on the razor's edge. I'm making him push, I guess. Had to break early because I want to get the back of him. We're on the back of him, but I don't think we're necessarily all that much faster than he is. I think we're just pretty evenly matched. Because I feel like I'm running some early times I got in the grass because I was watching him. It's amazing how often that happens. You watch a guy in front of us go in the grass, so you follow him in. We survived, it was just a 1x, that's fine. Still not gonna try to pass him right here. Still think that's a bad idea. <clears throat> Is he giving it to us? All right, nice. Guess he's nervous we're gonna run into him or something. <laughs> that was pretty close. That's that's understandable. As long as he doesn't hit me from behind now, because that would upset me. Okay, well now he's gonna dive it in for some reason. I don't understand that sequence of events. But congrats, now we let the two car reach us. Way to go. See, if you want to let me go, that's that's cool. Like, <laughs> maybe we can keep going forward and catch this other guy, but... <sighs> then he just tries to cross me over or whatever. I don't understand what he's thinking. Okay, well... He's got to be damaged from that, right? Blocking? What are you doing? Get off of me. This guy's a bit of a loon. He's diving it in. What an idiot. <sighs> Guy doesn't know what he's doing. He has no craft. You can't go too wide through there. You just can't. I mean, <laughs> I didn't trust him to do it anyway. I knew he was never going to leave me enough room. Well, I'll let these two fight it out then. I just knew I had to abandon. So we were not going to make it through there without touching. So they're going to wreck now because that guy doesn't know how to drive with someone else coming up on him. And uh, the two cars going to get impatient with him. Oh, it's on now, though. <laughs> Got four laps to go. Uh, hit that inside curb a little bit. Fine. Huge gap behind us. Very nice to see. That guy went all wide. But uh, he's going to get a nice run off, so maybe it was intentional. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We just tap that outside wall a little bit. <sighs> I'd like to beat the 12 now. I have a personal 
vendetta now, but <laughs> don't know if that's gonna happen. One car's gone. We were keeping up just fine until they started fighting us, and now they're way out there. I don't think we were gonna catch them in either case, but whenever he starts diving it in, like. Any chance we had was suddenly gone. Didn't take that very well. Look at that defensive line. What a loser. <laughs> Let me just guard the inside. Hold up everybody, even though I'm clearly much slower. All you're doing when you do that, and there's people behind you that are obviously faster, is giving them no choice but to bump you out of the way. That's all that's doing. So, we'll be here when that happens. I'm getting tired out of that corner now. It's making me push up on that wall, that's why I hit it before. I gotta adjust a little bit. I wanna make sure I'm not hitting that wall anymore. Is he going to make a move on him? Yeah. You can see he's impatient. These guys are going to wreck each other before it's over. Wow. I'm going to mad if I'm caught into this. He's gonna, 12's gonna send him in there. <laughs> Took the ramp. Oh my god, they wrecked? What? You what? I can't believe they didn't race clean, man. Oh my god, did you guys see that coming? I had no idea that was happening. Can't believe it. Wow, I guess we're in second now, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, let's uh, quit being sarcastic and make sure we can hold on to this second place. I think we got it just fine. And uh, we're in a position now where if, uh, you know, pigs fly and the guy in first, the number one car, makes a mistake, won't be positioned to, uh, to capitalize, but somehow I don't think that's going to happen. He's probably got an I rating of 10,005, so... So this is top split, and he is the number one ranked guy in the first race of the week here in the Ricky Mazda. So, chances are he's pretty good. I didn't get through there very, very well at all. <laughs> People spamming the uh, one of the default chat things. Wonder what's happening back there. I think the six and the two are fighting over a spot. Hey, one, you want to make a mistake? We never had the uh, pace to keep up with them completely. But I'm pretty proud of uh, being able to hang in there and, you know, be able to see him on the horizon at least. After, you know, considering we also fought the uh, fought behind some guys and got stuck for a while. Still just rookie Mazdas, but you get some fast guys in here. Gotta make uh, these final two corners. And uh, we'll be golden. Sure. <laughs> Still not getting through there quite right, but good enough. We were 
able to do some anticipation. Expect what was not unexpected. And uh, earn ourselves a second place. All right, that's a silver medal. I'm happy with that. Good win, number one. He was fast. He had no competition. He was probably sleeping, poor guy. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't uh, give him more of a fight. We'll, uh, get to a nice spot here to park it. And we'll take a look at all the madness. Get this out of our eyeball view. Yep. All right. 12, you are very stupid. Yeah, it kind of was. Um, we got two X, that's pretty good. That should be a gain with a, in, a, in a road race. All right. You got a self spin on lap one. It can snap on you early in the race. So you gotta be ready for it. Shrek. Yeah, going through there too wide is so difficult. I don't advise it, so they have to cut it and then scrub off some of that penalty time. Can't get the car turned there and turn one. That was a, that one's the Kevin Harvick special. Hey, it's me in qualifying. Oh. Plus a little extra. Oh, the cone takeout. He opened up a little bit more of the track for everybody, and they can take a little bit of a more of a cut in there. Nice. Thanks, dude. So this is the two car behind us. I imagine we're... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, see, we see that because he kind of got in the wall. Um, yeah, we just eventually kind of let him get by and let him deal with the guy that's being way too defensive. Is going way too slow. I mean, he wasn't really all that slow. We were faster, I think, but he was just taking those defensive lines that were just clogging us up. You know? Good raising. <laughs> the guy that called him stupid. <laughs> don't get involved, me. How come I don't get a good racing? I didn't take him out. mirror taken off there. Are we seen it again? Did we just see that twice? Whatever. How many times is he going to knock this mirror off? <laughs> well. Oh! Shrek, oh no! So that looked like he had to dive it in there much harder because he was trying to fight off the other dude. And uh, he almost made it through, but uh, couldn't quite hold on to it. Oof. I'm glad that didn't happen to me, because I did hit that wall at least once. Not quite that hard, so it didn't have the same effect, but... Man, that can mess up the steering, too. Out of shape. Coming in line. Shrek. And that wall. His right ear has been knocked off. Stop, he's already dead. So here's where he like smacks that wall in front of us, and honestly, I think here, you know, if you're hitting the walls and stuff, at some point you gotta concede, man. Like you're just asking someone to make a stupid dive on you at this point. So is this whenever um, the two car comes up? Okay, so yeah, we're coming through here. I'm just praying he's gonna back off because he's obviously down on speed. So you know, I just have to leave all that room, or else we're gonna run into that guy. So. I mean, I'm left with a few options here. I obviously have the nodes on him. He should be the one backing out. But he's not, because he thinks we can take it too wide through there. I don't trust him to cut it close at all, so I just have to concede. I managed to get a 0x, because I didn't cut it too much. But, uh, you know, I could have been closer. No, I really couldn't have been. Look, there's no room if I'm side-by-side -side with him right here. There's... That's not happening. 
So I just I have to be safe. <laughs> Drive over those little bumpies, bumples. And I think it's next lap. They uh, have their little I don't know slap fight. <laughs> okay, this is where I hit that. My poor mirror. My poor right ear. How am I gonna see the guy on my outside now? <laughs> I think he hits that inside wall here, doesn't he? Oh, both ears are gone. You can't hear a thing. Except he can, because it was just uh, prediction code, I guess. I know this is the other guy. So, this guy just refusing to concede at any moment. He's just being very uh, aggressive, because he hits the wall. And then this guy's got the outside with momentum. I mean, he's got the preferred line. That's that's fine, I suppose. So he's trying to cross over, but doesn't quite get it. I don't know. That guy was just making a ton of mistakes right in front of us. And uh, I think both of us were trying to get by him cleanly as long as possible, but... <laughs> Number two is just, he's done. He's no longer patient with him. Because he's down on speed. So he's like, alright, I'm doing this this way. It's aggressive, but like I said... This guy being so slow, he's leaving other guys no other option. He forces him to drive in real hard because he knew he was going to take him out, and then he just comes in and look at that. That's pretty garbage. So it starts here. I told you he was going to just rear-end him, and he was. But, uh, so this guy has to drive in real deep, the number two, to prevent it. And, uh... He kind of makes it work. He has to go slow through the slow through the final part of the corner though, because you know he just can't get the angle if he's coming in that hard. And number twelve decides just to torpedo him and take himself out and the other guy. So he's not too smart. They still recovered pretty well though, because we were so far ahead. I mean, the three of us all had decent pace, but. 12 wasn't living for the long term. He was living for the short term. Defending every moment. And uh, ends up wrecked. Uh, that's some guy back in 11th. Hitting the wall. And then that's some guy back in 11th. Hitting the wall. That's... Oh, no! Is that... The return? Oh my gosh, he's still taking people out back here. Look at that. He just drives through him and forces Shrek to knock into that guy. For shame. And he's gonna hit the wall again. Yeah, he's still driving like it's fresh tires, lap one, and like he doesn't have damage probably, because I imagine he's got some damage from all these wall hits and stuff he's doing, so he's overdriving it with the state of his car. That's me in qualifying. And that's the end of the race. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Um, I mean, it was fun for me, not being in the wreck with that dude. I had to be stuck behind him for a while, but uh, I think I got, you know, the top end of what I was uh, capable of. Number one guy is just gone. You know, if he's on the pole and he's setting super fast lap times, like he was always going to win. But uh, I think we got, you know, the highest of our capabilities in this race. So I'm trying to say. So very happy with it. Second place, silver medal. And a nice start to this week. Alright, thanks for watching.